Hello, we are back. As you've seen, I did <laughs> literally nothing here. After the last episode, I did move a little bit of the villagers. As you can see, here we got the rails, or better said, the aftermath of the moving. This place here is gonna be my breeding farm. And I want to show you the bridge. Because in the last episode, we started to make the bridge but I never shown you the finished product. It ain't the best one or the best looking one but still it's a bridge nonetheless. I used a spruce and a dark oak. As you can see everything is spruce expect the fences. It's looking fine now. I like it. It was enough for the zombies to you know go this way cross the river and then I could just lure them inside so yeah they just follow me and then go here. I don't think I've shown the finished product in the last episode, so yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to go here and show it to you all. As for the state here before, my plan is just to make a little bit of a cleanup here. Oh yeah, I still got some of them here inside and even one of them here. As you've seen, I made some rails and then pushed them away. Those two are still here, I still need to breed them more. But who knows, maybe they're gonna stay for a bit here, because it's closer to the production. But that's more or less it. And currently, I'm still not too sure what to do uh, more. Truly. I had one plan for uh, this building, for the farm, to make it more pretty. It's an undertaking even more crazy than this one, so I don't think I'm gonna uh, do that. I think it's already a good time to move on to an, another game, at the least for a little bit. I'm gonna always come back to this world, because you <laughs> never really complete Minecraft. It's such a game. You can play it for literally forever, because of how big it is. Whatever is in your imagination, you can just place it here, one block at a time. That's one of the reasons why I really like this game, by the way. And I do like, for example, example the modded versions too, like for example the World Hunters, which is a mod pack uh, the creator Iskal85 made with his uh, development team. I played some uh, seasons in the past, but I would need to re-download it, but yeah, that could be one of the things which I could start playing a bit later, but not currently. Currently I've got a plan to play a game called Noita, never played it, I only seen in one little tidbit of it but I thought it would be quite interesting to play and it's not a long game too so I heard that you can finish the game in less than 24 hours which theoretically should take even less time than uh, completing uh, 100 days in hardcore with the rules I set to myself so yeah that was one of the things I wanted to talk with you all about and as I said uh, in the last episode, I wanted to clear up the area, because it's already long overdue. But what should I do a bit later? I still got no idea what to make uh, for a bit later. I mean, I could build some farms, like for example a garden farm, gold farm, an XP farm and so on, but uh, you all seen such things happen already tons of times. And I'm not exactly thrilled to do them again currently at the very least, so that's one of the biggest reasons why I want to move to the other game. But worry not my fellow crafters and miners, because we are not gonna go away from Minecraft forever, I mean I really like this game and I will come back to it eventually, I'm just bored of it like everyone else is after playing a game for many years, that's why I'm gonna change it up a little bit by playing other games, I mean I never played for example Noita and I wanted to try the moment I've seen one little short of it. Just one short and I just wanted to play the game. Back to this world for a little bit, talking about the biggest build here. I mean if we look at it, villager trading hall, the villagers, I can make a wheat farm, but an automatic one with villagers, you know, so the villagers are gonna just go and harvest the wheat, which could help 
with creating the mud bricks, mud blocks and so on. There are many more farms which I could make but most of it are just uh, too big of the farms and I don't really want to make this channel a farm tutorial guide. But there is one place which I haven't really uh, explored which is the deep dark. I remember when one of such uh, deep dark places is because once when I was looking for something in the spectator mode I did find a bit of it but I never really explored it. So I know where the deep dark is but I don't really know uh, anything else. Maybe I could make this episode something like visiting the deep dark for the first time. I mean I could do that. But the one who is editing it is gonna say no oh so yeah. <laughs> I'm too lazy for that currently. I mean, I don't really know even why, but the last few days I'm just so... How do I say it even? Not lazy, but I don't have any drive to do anything. I don't know why, but it's crazy because I want to make things, but somehow I don't have the drive. Maybe it's a form of a burnout, but I can't be really too sure about that. And they could have made the glass instaminable. <laughs> Because theoretically we did most of the things uh, which uh, I wanted to do in this Minecraft world. A farm, have a wood source, made a house, have some wool, have the hall for the villagers. Look at the bee, look at the bee, look at, look at, look at the bee for the honey blocks. I mean, right now I could create flying machines and so on, but I'm a bit tired of this world currently. But at the very least, it's in such a state where I can always revisit it. So that's one of the things I like about it. I mean, I can just trade for the carrots and get unlimited gunpowder and paper for the rockets. So what more can you want, right? But I still need to clean up this part and then create a path. Yeah, people don't like path blocks. There are still tons of work which could be done and even more so if I was a little bit more talented and had a little bit more of drive. Yeah, this looks good and this side still needs to be covered up with dirt. Yeah, and here maybe I'm gonna make a roundabout. Here I can have the way here. Even the collection system, I know I could make for example, it drop out with the same system I did with the gunpowder and go into a collection system directly. So I don't really need to have this here, but currently I don't really want to remodel that. So yeah, it's gonna be staying like this. I mean, one of my plans before was to create a big head here from a champ from League of Legends and have it be like a cover for the iron farm, but it's scrapped currently. I mean, this world has a lot of potential, but I'm not a creative type of a person, so that's a bit of a bummer. Here I can make some fences and the road can go all around. And with that I can connect it with the villager trading hall. I know it's not the kind of video you all expect me to release, which I'm quite a bit sorry about. But as you know, change is good. After this I can just go straight up here. As for the few people which are already here, I mean which didn't stop exactly on this week currently, I can give them a recommendation for one great manhua because the manhua was already confirmed to have an anime adaptation so you can either wait or you can just start reading that masterpiece i mean if you want to know it already how it ends because the light novel is already finished you can just go and read the light novel ominescent reader viewpoint is one of the best series i have ever read the light novel of and i did read the webtoon or you can say the manhua of it too so i can confirm the quality is top notch one of the best i ever seen it's better than solo leveling and the story is amazing too so i can only recommend it for everyone whenever it is the light novel, whenever it is the Manhua webtoon or whenever it's gonna be the anime adaptation because this is gonna be one of the best pieces of media we will ever get if it's gonna be finished. Which it will be because it's truly one of the best stories I have ever read. And you can say it out loud because I use the word story so you know that I really mean it. 
I'm really sorry for most of the people who subscribed here because of Minecraft, but it was never really planned to be a solely Minecraft channel, or even a game channel, or even an anime channel. It's just a channel about me, you, and just having fun, talking, playing games. I was never really planning to uh, live stream, but even that can be possible in the future, but not right now, so yeah. The cross is gonna stay, <laughs> because that's for the Mandy. The easiest way to clean it up would be just to place TNTs, but I'm not too savage. Because the cleanup after the TNTs would be even more annoying than just, you know, going with a pickaxe and destroy a few blocks. Okay, it looks a lot cleaner currently. I mean, yes, it's more of a me nagging, and it's not really a detailed uh, bit because I really didn't do anything. But I do find enjoyment in me just coming here, talking a little bit, nagging a bit, and just having a bit of fun. If I wanted to destroy all of the chests, probably the fastest way would be to break it with an axe and then burn it with the flint and steel I have on the green shulker. Yeah, but no, I'm not gonna do that. So people, don't really worry about uh, me not playing Minecraft again because that's not really true. Just to remember the famous words from Terminator, I'll be back. Yeah, when I'm inspired again to come back and do some stuff, I'm gonna come back. I know, it's sad, but all great things have an end and this is gonna be one of them. I can only hope that you all stay healthy and we're gonna see us in the next Minecraft episode, which is gonna be out I don't really know when, I'm not sure. Still, I gotta thank you all, and not even you, but to me myself too, because this series gave me a lot and I learned a lot too. Most of it is the pronunciations which I trained. Still I'm not saying I don't like it. I mean uh, what I did, the build. But still, I had a lot of plans I wanted to do, but the biggest problem is that I lost a lot of my drive. It's just gotten a little bit stale, so I want to try other things. And with that I mean other games. So that's why I intend to play Noita. That should do it. Thank you all for watching, stay healthy. Press like and subscribe and we're gonna see us in the next video. Bye!